Welcome back to Excel with Mark and today what we're going to be looking at is the auto fill feature within Excel. So this is a really easy way if we need to be filling in data or if we want to start creating tables on axes and things like that and how we can quickly create them using this feature. So what this does then is if we were to click into the cell here and click one and then two underneath it, we can highlight the two cells here and then bringing them down we can see that we have that little box at the side there that has the number 12. If we release that there, it counts up to us for 12 without us having to type all the different numbers into that. So that on its own is pretty useful, but that when it starts to create patterns and is able to kind of build on that a lot, lot more for us, becomes a really useful tool. While using this tool, one of the biggest things or one of the biggest errors that a lot of people will get is say they don't create a pattern. So if you were to click one, for example, there, but then just drag it down. We can see that because it hasn't got a pattern and Excel hasn't been able to pick up anything that it would think is a pattern, it just copies that cell all the way down there. If this is the case for you, what we can do is we can click into the auto fill options here and then we can just change that to a fill series. So we can see that we've been able to change all these rows nice and quickly and easily all the way down. Now auto fill doesn't just work moving down the rows, okay, in a particular column. We can also move it across. So if we were to select this here, again, we can move that out, say to L there. And once we've got all these ones, again, we can change the options to fill series. And you can see there that we've got a nice one to eight without kind of doing too much work and having to retype it and press tab. Now auto fill doesn't just work in singular digits as it's moving up. It can also let's say work on pattern so if we click in two and then four say for this highlight the two cells there and then drag that down we can see that it brings up the two to 24 adding in two every time until it gets to that point there now this doesn't just work in numbers either we can do this for date so if we type in say january for the month and we can drag that down we can see that we have December there selected and if we let go then it's worked all the way from January to February. Again if it doesn't pick up the pattern for you just type in February underneath and then it'll pick up the pattern and you'll be able to build on it from there. It does work on shorthand as well so we can type in January like so and then move that down so we get January to December there. We can also work on days of the month so again if we type in Monday say for instance here and then we drag that down we can see that it will go from Monday to Sunday and then it will start that new pattern again just copying that over as we want it to do there we can work on this for date so if we type in 1st of the 1st uh, 2022 say and then we kind of drag that down there again it will add all the different dates into that part so one way that this might work if you're at work if you want to use this nice and easy if you have to build kind of data out for whatever reason if you were to say item one and then just move into the next cell and then copy that down, that'll give us item one to 12 within that column where we can then start to build on that and add the data to it as we need to do. And the last one I'll show you now, again, we can work on quarters. So if it's put in, uh, so if it's say quarter one, if you're working on financial things or anything like that, and then drag that down, we can see we have quarter one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, all the way down. So hopefully this is useful then on how to use the autofill feature within Excel. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. As always, leave a like, subscribe, and we'll hopefully see you again for some more Excel and how to use it. Thanks a lot for watching.